Hello crafty friends and doll lovers. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Melody. I am back today. I'm a few days late because this past weekend was pretty busy for me and I just did not have the opportunity to record this video. So I'm doing it today and I'm back with, oh my gosh, I forgot to check. I think I am, this would be number 17 um the 17th project that i've completed for those of you who may be joining me for the first time this is a personal goal that i set for myself to sew something doll related each week and in order for me to do that i have been downloading <clears throat> excuse me i have been downloading the free pattern that the pixiefair.com website makes available every friday so whatever that pattern is I sew that pattern and so far it has been a very interesting journey and I have learned a lot along the way. Today I am here to share with you the free pattern that was released two Fridays ago <clears throat> and it is the Little Miss Muffet flower girl dress and this is the pattern. It has a skill level of, of easy intermediate and it is designed to fit 18 inch dolls. I used one of the fabrics that was already in my stash so it's um, this mint green very similar to the the um, the garment that is showing on the front of the pattern here. I have to say that as far as patterns go, this was the best, most thorough pattern that I have sewn so far. And the reason why I say that is because this designer let, left nothing to, ch to chance. It's very thorough. Explaining things that if you were a beginner, just all these extra helpful tips to help you to successfully complete this garment. I would say that the only thing, the only, I guess, drawback as far as the pattern goes is once again, this neckline. If you notice the, the neckline, oh, okay, the neckline here is really standing up on the doll it's not laying down flat close to the body and I, I don't know i believe it's the drafting of the neckline because i actually stay stitched now the pattern did not rec did not um include stay stitching the neckline in the in the direction because of the way that the neckline stood away from the doll's neck the doll's body i am modeling it on this brains and beauty doll the brains and beauty dolls have the 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 bodice i'm sorry the upper body up, upper body is vinyl up to about here and the doll is also wider in the shoulders. So I think that the neckline is perfect for this particular doll. It, it fits around here better than what you see in this photo here. As far as me, actually, my experience sewing this, if I were to sew this again, I would use a a lighter weight fabric. I used some cotton that I had in my stash and the cotton had a, it's kind of, it has glitter. If you can see that on this part, there's glitter here. And I think because of the treatment, this, this fabric is, is kind of stiffer and it made gathering Kind of difficult because you're gathering one two you you're gathering two layers of fabric plus
plus the lace, if memory serves me correctly. Um, so the pattern does suggest that you, you instead of running your gathering stitches from one edge to the other edge, it recommends you maybe breaking it up into fours um, so that you don't have as long of a span of fabric to gather. I didn't do that. <laughs> I should have, especially because this fabric is thicker. So it was kind of tricky to get the gathers um, to move. As a matter of fact, I did pop threads and finally gave up and said, okay, this is just going to be what it is. So it's not, I, I didn't get the gathering here like I wanted it. But overall, I think this is a great pattern. Again, it's so thorough in its explanation. I think it, it turned out well. This is the back. The pattern calls for, for the overlay, for the lace overlay, it says um, fine decorative net or decorative edge, and it gives a measurement of 42 inches by eight inches wide. This was the only lace that I found in my fabric store that had the this um, correct scale for this doll for 18 inch dolls and it was actually seven inches wide not eight inches wide but i was able to lay out the pattern in such a way that the the eight inches did work the other thing is there was another edge to this and i probably should have I don't know if I have any scraps left. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is, this is the, it was lace, so it's seven inches, and I bought enough to so that I would have 42 inches, so this would be 42 inches long. And you'll see that it had this decorative edge, which I think is too large as far as the scale is for 18 inch dolls. So I used this decorative edge here for the doll. Um, so that's what you see here. I didn't follow the pattern exactly in this at this particular point uh, because instead of finishing the overlay and the um, bodice that's under it together I hem them separately so that this piece so that I could ma maintain this scallop edge so that's the only thing that I did differently um, on this pattern and I think it turned out very well again the only issue that I had with the pattern itself is the way that the neckline lays on the dolls like the American Girl dolls because they're not as as wide across the shoulders as this Brains and Beauty doll is. The pattern that was released this past Friday is the, it's a, actually a pattern for a design for a boy, 18 inch boy doll. And it is the Greatest Generation World War II uniform by Crafty Little, Crafty Little Turkey. And here is this pattern, oh, this way, okay. So you have two versions here. This one says this is it's an Eisenhower jacket variation. Uh, so it's a little different than this jacket. Both of these are two pieces, although this looks more like a jumpsuit. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to do this one. Uh, I have not, uh, with the weekend being as busy as it was, I didn't get to the fabric stores. And I'm pretty sure I don't have anything in my stash that would be suitable for this pattern. So this is the pattern that I will be completing hopefully this week and sharing with you on next Sunday. That is all I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.